Does excess protein in a meal just turn into sugar or get stored as fat? Let's bust some myths and get to the truth about single meal protein consumption in today's episode of Quick Wits. Welcome to the Wits and Weights podcast. I'm your host, Philip Pape, and this twice a week podcast is dedicated to helping you achieve physical self mastery by getting stronger, optimizing your nutrition, and upgrading your body composition. We'll uncover science-backed strategies for movement, metabolism, muscle, and mindset with a skeptical eye on the fitness industry so you can look and feel your absolute best. Let's dive right in. I received a question in our recent 21-Day Body Recomp Challenge about what our body does when we have, quote-unquote, too much protein in a single meal. Let's say you have 80 grams or 100 grams or 120 grams. Can our body only utilize or metabolize a certain amount of protein per sitting and then does it turn the excess into sugar you may have heard of a concept called gluconeogenesis first off let's let's address the idea that there is a strict limit to how much protein your body can process in one sitting this notion has been floating around for a while uh, but the truth is it's more complex than a single number your body can use a certain amount of protein at a time for muscle building. That's MPS, muscle protein synthesis. Studies suggest anywhere from 20 to 30 grams per meal, maybe a little bit more, uh, maybe if you're larger, for optimal muscle protein synthesis. But that doesn't mean that the excess is wasted because like with all of these things, the body is an incredible machine. It's capable of storing nutrients and utilizing them as needed. Excess protein doesn't just disappear. It also doesn't automatically turn into sugar. It's metabolized differently. It can be used for energy. It can be used for other bodily functions. It can be stored, but it's not directly converted into sugar. Now, there is a process by which that happens, um, but we don't want to oversimplify it. The body can convert some amino acids, which are the building blocks of protein, into glucose through a process called gluconeogenesis. But this is a demand, not supply-driven process. It's demand-driven. It mainly happens during periods of fasting or low-carb intake, low carbs. Go listen to my episode about carbs. We talked about that, protein sparing. It doesn't just happen because you had an extra chicken breast at lunch. It really has to do with your overall nutrient utilization and energy intake. What's important is overall protein intake throughout the day, for the day as a total, in fact, over several days, not just per meal, because your body's ability to use protein is influenced by your total daily intake, the type of protein you consume, and of course, your activity, your training, and all that good stuff. So don't sweat it if you occasionally have a high protein meal. I'd rather you get your protein for the day however you can. Focus on consistent, balanced nutrition throughout the day if you can, spread it out if you can, but if not, a bigger protein meal is just fine. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Wits and Weights. If you found value in today's episode and know someone else who's looking to level up their wits or weights, please take a moment to share this episode with them. And make sure to hit the follow button in your podcast platform right now to catch the next episode. Until then, stay strong. Hey, before you go, I want to let you know about a free resource I have. They are free guides on everything from fat loss to eating out to building muscle to managing hunger to figuring out the best macros for you and more being added all the time. You want to get the most out of these podcasts and your time to look and feel your best, and these free guides will give you a quick and easy way to know what to do. If you want to get your hands on these completely free guides, you can head over to witsandweights.com slash free. That's witsandweights.com slash free to get your free guides and level up your results today.